can see I'm working on outputting the video we did from our dive into full 360 and then you're gonna push that up on I guess up on YouTube and that gives you the ability to look around any direction and see what we saw when we're down there. We got the air conditioning keeping the humidity down in here. We had a cup of coffee and already got up early and saw a SpaceX launch. Wow, gosh, that's gorgeous out there. Let's go take a look. It's a beautiful day on the tower. The water's calm. Hoping to get down in the water and make sure we can get the explore.org camera in place. Look at that. Three knots of wind. Temperature's already 81 out there. Not bad though. Got the scooter charged up. Got the explore.org secondary camera in place. Gonna redo our shark camera. Let me show you what we got going on out here. Besides a pile of equipment. We were able to get up there and weld the brackets right along there. I did a good job of taking care of them. Making it so that they have enough structural support that we'll never have a problem with hurricane. And we got one of them mounted in there. We had to choose what we thought would be a fairly optimum angle here for the morning light of about 30, 33 degrees. Could have gone a little steeper and got more midday light out of it. Obviously in the evening, this being the east side, won't get much at all. But it also, well, it keeps it way out of the window view. Been cutting off some of the old stuff that's been around it and just a lot of preparation. It's a lot of current this morning. I can see the ripples. And out there, the buoy's being pulled pretty good. See it a little bit around the leg if you look closely. And for me to go diving later on, I really need to go ahead and get the current to die down. That usually happens about midday or so. So we'll work on things on the solar panels and put them in order until we get the current to favor our conditions for getting in the water. Don't want to get in the water and have to swim like a crazy man just to stay still. Anyway, grab another little bit of something to drink here. I think we have some coffee already made. I don't know what you guys are doing today, but we've got a pile of work out here. See what we got. The group of volunteers that came out this time is a number of folks that have been out here a few times over the years. And you find that once you've been out here, it really calls to you when you're on land. It's amazing how the perspective out here is just different. Last night we got a chance to pop up in the middle of the night and see. Starlink, SpaceX, take off from Florida. And I'll throw a couple pictures up so you guys can see that. But uh, that was pretty incredible, watching it shoot across the entire sky and uh, right over the tower itself. And then watching the booster, which landed probably maybe 100 miles off to the southeast, flare up and come down. And that booster had done that flight 23 times and that was its last flight because when the booster landed on the barge it kind of tipped over and crashed it's not bad to do it 23 flights a lot of their boosters make a lot of flights but anyway they're gonna squirt out a whole bunch of little jelly beans of starlinks and uh you know internet access is a good thing if we were lucky we'd get elon to realize that we are not a in motion on the ocean categorization and maybe they'd actually give us a, a land-based deal because we're not moving. As it is, it's about three or four times per month and also per usage more expensive. So we can't use Starlink just simply based on the financial cost, even though we're trying to rescue people. So, hey, if you know Elon, give him a call and tell him, help out some guys out here just trying to save lives. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll make this short and simple. We're going to have a long time lapse video of us putting the panels on today and doing some work in the shop. So make sure you check back on that and uh, come join us sometime out here on the Frying Pan Tower. We're, we're roughing it with nice Mitsubishi electric air conditioning. <sighs> 
good coffee and good people. Take care now. Bye.